Hello, hello, my friends. Hope you're all doing well, as usual. Not totally sure whether I'm actually streaming yet or not. Find out soon enough, I guess. Let me refresh this page. Oh, it's live. Excellent. Hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Um, excited for today's live stream. Oh, I got this multi-camera setup uh, going today. This is my new three three angle setup. Hello, guys. And then we got my DAW view. And we got uh, my overhead view. So pretty nifty, right? Move this banana, this half-eaten banana out of the view here. It's not very pleasant. Let me move that over here. <clears throat> anyway, come in and say hello. Uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are going to write uh, a quick and dirty little action cue. So um, I'm just going to dive right into it. Um, I'm going to be using some of the uh, MIDI from the Action Strings MIDI pack from ProductionMusicTools.com. And uh, that is posted in the chat, I hope. Let me double check that it is. Oh, maybe it's not. Or is it? Yeah, it is. It's posted at the top of the chat here. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. So let me know if you can hear me. Uh, and if it sounds all good. <clears throat> so... Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, drag a few of these uh, MIDI files in from the strings pack here. So let me just take, um, I got my tempo set at 130. And um, I don't know, I guess we'll just uh, take a look here at... Oh, someone's here. Malik's music. Hey, Stevie. Coming through loud and clear. Awesome. Thanks for joining, Chris. Um, okay, cool. So let's just dive into it. Uh, let's check, take a look at this uh, 130 to 150 BPM uh, four-bar phrase folder here. I'm going to go to the combined. And I have a few patches loaded up here. Um, they're all multis. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in just a second. So... Um, yeah, we're, I think we're going to work in 6.8. Yeah, I'm using 6.8 here. So let's drag one of these in and see what's up. Okay. That could work. Um, maybe let's take something. I think there's some cool ones in the song starters pack here. Um, got a couple of six eight ones here, so let's listen to how these sound first. Okay, let's try another one here. that ascending feel to it. Hey, Nick, welcome. Um, yeah, let's just build a track. Like, I'm just going to try to make this as quick and painless as, as possible. <clears throat> so i um, thinking, yeah, I don't know. Why don't we just, uh, we'll kind of come up with an arrangement here real, real quick. And uh, let's just say, I don't know, double this section. This isn't going to be like a really long one. You know, I mean, with the constraint of time here, I'm trying to get this done in like an hour. Um, it's not going to be perfect, you know, but it's, this is just for sort of like having fun. And the, the MIDI pack is that, you know, it's supposed to get, it's supposed to help us get the ideas flowing. So uh, that's what I'm hoping that we'll do. Uh, let's copy this over. Okay, cool. Let's just throw this aside here 
just make this a B section. Um, we'll copy this over and this will be our intro. This is kind of, there's a few uh, of these files that are kind of like just arpeggios and they have a kind of an, a nice intro vibe to them. So that's gonna work for an intro, that's cool. Um, let's throw in maybe one other thing here to kind of like separate an, uh, like, you know, a, an intro from a, from a more dramatic section. Let's go back to uh, our uh, four bar phrases. And maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can take something that's four, four, that's not six, eight, and we can switch things up here. Let's just see if this, Sounds cool. I don't know. Yeah, does that sound cool going into that? Okay, that's cool. Let's just change the time signature here to four. And uh, some of these are a little bit longer than they're supposed to be. I gotta fix that. Okay, and then we'll come up with a little break here, like one, two, three, four, and then we'll get into our second half here. Let's say that. So let's change the signature back to six eight here. Okay, my cello's power patch. I don't know if it sounds that great. This is uh, a channel setting I, I created a while back. Uh, it is a combination of performance samples, fluid shorts, nucleus, uh, spiccatos, and aperture ensemble. Eh, you know, it's all right. Um, same thing with the, the viola's power patch. Um, I don't think it's anything special. So yeah, I got uh, the fluid shorts and uh, Spitfire's Chamber Ensemble. Um, let's copy those into our violas and see if that sounds cool. Sure. I don't know. Got to get it done. We're just we're just going light speed here. Oh, let me full size full screen this. Sorry guys, you don't need to see the bar on the bottom of my screen. I mean, that could be our, our tune right there. I don't know if it needs to be any longer. Um, okay, I got another multi here. And this is damage mixed in with the uh, Heavy Ocity's ensemble drums. So maybe just like some sparse drums in the intro here. I've been out of the uh, the orchestral game for a little while. I've been writing so much hip hop and pop and uh, some corporate stuff. So I'm trying to like get back, get my head back in the game here. It's been it's been a little while. Do a little bit of surgery here.
I'll save that last hit for like a trailer sample. Like a trailer hit of some kind. Okay. What, we, what kind of vibe do we want? Yeah, cool, except for the, uh, let's change this one note, because I don't know if I like that. a snare let's uh, use the percussion library library um, what am I doing here snare three yeah guess we need like a little bit of uh, I don't know we can start off with a bit of ambience in this intro let me just write that down um, I don't know thinking Azerex synth maybe I feel like the Azerex synth sounds it, it, sometimes it feels a little outdated to me but it's kind of like nice in a pinch <laughs> have I ever seen you in anything other than black clothes <laughs> Great to see you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I need a, I need a wardrobe uh, update. Um, I do have other colors. I have a blue sweater. Um, I even have a brown sweater, but I don't wear it very often. I think that black is like my composing. That's like my composing color. I don't know. It's my creative color. Is black a color? I don't think it's a color. It's a shade, right? I don't know. I don't know why. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, let's, uh, use, I don't know, let's get a brown in there, doomed. Yeah. What happened to the volume there? It got so quiet. Come on. Well, 
let's just bounce this down and then I'll create a fade Andy you working on those uh, on those guitar tracks or what any more pitches to taxi you heard back from any libraries I haven't uh, okay let's get back to this Azarek synth um, where were we? Synths. Something like that. I don't know. Feel like we need like a bit of ambiance. I literally have this plant in the way here. There's a plant growing on my screen. That's annoying or if it's cool. just like mess this up even more I'll uh, actually you know what I won't use output movement because it takes up a lot of CPU and I don't want my computer to crash while I'm live streaming here kind of sad that that's an issue for me right now but I feel like my Mac M1 uh, is kind of like slowing down in its old age it's only 2018 I don't know what it is about it lately but it's kind of like crap in the bed um, No, I haven't heard from any library, of course. <laughs> I'll go for some more listings here and there, but rather with the intention to use them in stock. Yeah, doing albums will stay out of the taxi. Yeah, I, I'm not going to pitch to taxi until next month. I think that that guitar stuff was my pitch for February, and then I'll wait till, uh, I'll wait till next month to, to do something else. Because, like, you know, five six bucks uh whatever five bucks american a pit uh, per pitch adds up like it's not a lot at the moment but it will be by the end of the year it's like how much money have i given taxi <laughs> Yeah, that's a really good point. I probably do need to update. Like I'm, I've been using, and you can see that I'm using an older version of Logic here, um, too. And I was terrified to do uh, the update, um, but I've been running the new version of Logic on my MacBook Pro uh, and with the M1 chip. And it seems that pretty much all of the plugins I use now are compatible. Um, so now I'm, I'm waiting for. Uh, them uh, apple to release m the the mac mini m2 uh and i guess the rumor is that that's gonna happen 
any time between now and like you know six months or, or something like that but it could not even happen this year they're supposed to bring put it out this year but as soon as that happens i'm buying a new uh, updated mini but um, i'm hesitant to just buy the uh, a new m1 mini right now because i feel like as soon as i buy it they're just going to release the the uh the the new m2 or is it is, is it called the m2 i don't know but you know you know what i'm saying Okay, so let's take it up a notch here. Um, uh, I'll just uh, let's freeze this actually. And uh, let's throw in some like brass stabs right here. Um, I think I have a patch that sounds kind of cool. What is it? It's uh There it is. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe like dun dun. Something like that. Maybe a little less busy. Something in there works. Maybe I'll just take this back half. Let's fix this velocity. Hey, Alex is in the stream. How's it going, man? How is everything down in Brazil? Hope you're doing well, dude. Okay, so um, got some brass stabs. Um, maybe we'll throw them down in this like back half here. Same thing, I'm just gonna fix velocity. Uh. Okay, cool. Hey, Thomas. Your music is helping me push 
through the rest of the workday. Awesome, man. That's great. I uh, hope it helps. Um, it's going to help me get through the rest of my workday, too. I got a ton of work as soon as I finish this stream uh, ahead of me. But I'm looking forward to that, too. So, um, okay, let's keep the ball rolling here. Uh, this is working all right. Oh, dude. I got a tip? Oh, man. That's the first tip I've ever received on on a YouTube live stream. That, that is so sweet, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Andy. That's awesome. I didn't even know that, like I had that set up. I, I like, I, I didn't re even realize that was possible. So that just made my day. You're awesome, dude. Thank you. Um, super sweet. And I will put that five bucks towards my next, uh, my next, uh, taxi pitch, whatever that may be. <laughs> right on. Um, okay, cool. Uh, I got to keep the ball rolling. So let me, let's, let's come up with, let's do the hard work first and like throw down some kind of melody here. I'm thinking like, you know, some sort of horn line. So um, let's, I have this little patch actually. That's like a trombone and horns multi. I believe these are both performance samples. So the question is like, where is that going to come in? Maybe I'll just like, let's say, I don't know here. I just kind of, kind of, I got to figure this out. Something like that. I don't know. I'm just gonna throw it down. I'm not think I'm not gonna overthink this. Here we go. I'll probably screw it up. easy to fix right because it's more just like the delivery of the of the timing of the notes um and then everything else is just easy to fix <laughs> Let's make sure that we're all good here. Oops. No. I don't know about this last. I'm thinking maybe higher. We want to make it a little bit more epic, right? Maybe not. 
dun, dun, dun. We want to go up. I don't know if it matters that the... What happened to my mod information here? Just doing a little fixing, guys. Just want to make sure that it's epic enough for you. I don't know why it sounds so weak right there. Let's fix that. Hmm. What am I missing? Why does that one have such a strangely... Anyway, um, I don't have all day to figure that one out. So, um, that sounds kind of cool. We'll leave that for, for now. Um, I'm thinking maybe we want to add some like ensemble strings to pad out this uh, this section here. So let's do that real quick. We'll use um, apertures, longs, nice and light on the CPU. Uh, so I'm thinking something like. Okay, so let's just, I'll worry about the mod after. I'm just gonna literally punch these in. Here we go. Can't even hear that. Do a little bit of tweak in here. Getting to, to the top of the horn register, yeah. Yeah, it is probably quite near. I think the performance samples exaggerates the, the register width a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Um could be higher or higher in the sample library than a real horn register, is all I'm saying. Um I actually don't know that though. <laughs> I know that Nucleus um, has the option to do that. You can like actually stretch it out manually um, in the library, which is kind of cool. Uh, punch in the mod.
thought I'd just switch up the views there to keep things interesting. <laughs> I love this little stream deck thing. Really helps my production value on YouTube. I'm still learning, guys. Um, okay, cool. So we have uh, we have that figured out. Um, let's copy that over and <clears throat> let's make sure this sounds cool. Oops. Why are you giving me that extra space? It's annoying. starting to sound cool let's uh add a trumpet in to kind of flesh out this melody um let's use um i don't know we'll try the nucleus uh trumpet here legato is it that way or this way i can't remember where the sample start issue uh we'll figure it out here so Let's plug this into our trumpet and um, let's just solo these for a second. All right. Right, I think it's the other way. getting the old uh, CPU flutter. Let me just uh, put this through a bit of reverb. I might have to freeze some stuff here in a second. Let me oh, let's freeze this uh, these spiccatos and the percussion, and uh, then we'll add some maybe some more uh, string legato stuff. I'll switch back to my fancy view here. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe like. A little bit of solo cello uh, coming into uh, coming in the first half of this 
B section. Is it a B section? Yeah, it's B section. Um, I don't know, maybe a solo cello? Hopefully that doesn't uh, tax my CPU too hard here. Um... to school <laughs> yeah I just got this fern plant because my last one died the last one looked exactly like this I found one to replace it um, it's kind of cold up here in in Vancouver no I mean it's not freezing but it's uh, maybe not quite warm enough not quite tropical enough to keep these plants alive but I need I need at least one plant in every room in my house it just makes me feel better about life Concentrate on music, not plants. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to think. I need the plant to help me think. Let me just uh, freeze this too. Definitely need an M2 Mac. Mac Mini. Let's just throw this down. Let's improvise. Yeah, I'm playing a cello. Vibe. Um, <clears throat> let's use that, and maybe we could throw a little violin in there. Um, I think I have like a violin patch somewhere here. Solo, progressive. Let's give this a shot.
cool. Making some progress. Uh, maybe like an ensemble legato patch to fill out this line. Um, actually, maybe. Oops, what am I doing? Sorry. How you guys doing out there? Um, let's uh, throw in some sub bass. Maybe uh, use a DX7 patch here. DX7, DX7. I like this uh, orange bass here. Um, get rid of that delay Oops. something to tickle the subs a little bit um, yeah maybe a bit of uh, I don't know let's see if we could uh, throw in some transition effects here of some kind um, let's take this off let's throw in a couple of swells simple swells here Uh, maybe some trailer hits or oh, riser. I'll throw a riser in here and riser hit. Yeah, that's one I like. Uh, um, yeah, let's work with those for now, and then I'll throw that. Single swell right here. Let's 
dropping that way down. And this riser could come, take us out of this A section. Sorry, I know this isn't very exciting, but it has to happen. And maybe we can throw um, throw some of that Pandora 5 in here, maybe for like a, <clears throat> a drum swell of some kind. No idea how that one's going to sound. Let's pull up the Pandora 5. Uh, actually, I'll just let's catch up on the comments here. Doing pretty good thinking about what music to work on today. I got pretty deep into a synth wave track last night, but I don't know how viable that is as a production track. I see some demand for like synth wave. Um, lots of, you know, lots of interest in like vintage kind of stuff. I actually wrote like a synthwave stuff, uh, synthwave track uh, last year and I got really into uh, really into the style and I just kind of fell, I, I don't know, um, I never really got into it. I had this like little master plan to write a, a handful of tracks in that style, but I couldn't quite get the first track where I wanted it to be, but it was really, really fun um, to write it kind of in like the calm trues sort of vein. I started Harry Potter uh, style trailer track for the text brief, but realized I'm not John Williams. <laughs> no, who is John Williams other than John Williams? Uh, only roles. need some like drum swells here um where to put it i don't know i'll just throw it down here there's another uh synth wave or like vapor wave. i don't know if you call it vapor wave synth wave artist that i listened to um thomas that you should check out her i think it's her or I'm not actually sure, but the artist's name is uh, Allison. It's a dot l dot i dot s dot o dot n. Great stuff. It's like super awesome, like vintage throwback synthwave. That's who inspired me to uh, to start writing in that style. But I just couldn't like capture it the way I wanted to. I think you. I feel like I want like. I don't know. I think I needed like hardware synths to, to, to like to do it the right way. I just couldn't figure it out with, uh, um, with like my soft synths. Needed a real Juno up in here. Um, let's uh, throw this here. See if that sounds cool. the first time
need a bit of a texture up front here. Whispering strings, sounds good. something a little bit more mel melodic too. Maybe I'll use that SendFine library. It's got some nice ambient pianos. Um, ambient guitar, that could be cool too. Let's try that. Uh oh, there we go. I'm not sure that's quite what I'm looking for tone wise, but it screwed up a little bit. Hey, James. Glad you made it, man. How's it going? No, you got COVID, test positive for COVID-19 this morning. Damn. Uh, glad you're feeling all right, though. A couple friends here took it pretty rough, even with, uh, even fully vaccinated. Um, that sucks, man. I have somehow managed to uh, avoid it, but, you know, I don't have a lot of contact with the outside world. I'm pretty much just like a gremlin in my studio cave here 
working day in, day out on music. I don't talk to humans. I don't talk to real humans anymore. <laughs> or humans in real life, I should say. Um, the last thing I'm going to do here is, uh, and that's not true, by the way. I still I still get out in uh, quite a bit, um, and I actually played like a bunch of shows through uh, through COVID, and um, managed to just kind of magically uh, avoid it, which I'm thankful for. But I'll probably catch it in the last in the last minute. But numbers are dropping here in British Columbia, and uh, I don't know they they're starting to lift some restrictions. Um, we can get back to. Uh, Nightclubs are at, at full capacity now. Um, we still got to wear the masks and all that kind of stuff, but you know, um, it's getting better. It's looking up. I'm going to throw this uh, lead line into our solo instruments here and see if I can make it sound cool. Um, let's throw that in the there we go. And I'll put that horn line into my cello. cello but it's cool uh, just working on some a uh, little epic action cue a real short one over here uh, nothing too crazy I'm trying to figure out uh, how to make this cello sound good using the action strings midi pack to get this one done real quick bit superhero-y. does it for like a short little cue for a stream did I keep that under an hour what time is it oh it's been exactly an hour and eight minutes since I pressed go live so that's not bad considering most of them are like an hour and a half um, 
Let me just throw a little ozone on this and spread it out maybe a bit. Oh yeah, I remember I wanted to add one note in here. Let's see, hopefully I won't tax my CPU too hard here, but I'm gonna throw this through um, outputs movement plugin Oh yeah, sorry James, I saw that you uh, you grabbed the cinematic folk course. That's awesome, man. Thanks for getting that. Um, hope you, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was really fun to make that one. I realized there's just a few last things I'm going to do here. Um, thanks so much, Andy. I appreciate you being here, man, and I appreciate the tip. That's the that's the coolest thing ever. You're the first, the very first. Am I heading off now? Nope. Um, wanted to ask him a massive favor. I noticed the pads in Nucleus are uh, incorrectly pitched. I'm not sure if it's just mine. Would it be possible to check? Yeah, sure. I'll, I can check for you. Um, as soon as I'm done here, uh, I'm just going to add some finishing touches. Um, it's a great course. I want to share my track with the Academy that I wrote, dude. Yes. You must share your track with the Academy. Love to hear it. Yeah. I'd love to hear it, man. Uh, are you using, um, are you using the, uh, uh, the strummed acoustic? Uh, it, like just like the course or, or are you doing your own um, thing I can't remember if you if you play guitar Thomas or or you play your violinist I think but uh, yeah let me know uh, what you did with that I the only thing about the course is that like it's kind of almost I guess a prerequisite in a way to have the um, the acoustic strum library but you know if you unless you're a guitar player or unless you have, you're using a different library that has kind of some kind of strum thing built in I know the uh, the orange tree orange tree sample uh, libraries are, are pretty pretty good for that too I was working something and uh, none of the pitches were working properly I used the built-in tuner in studio one to double check yeah it could be you know sometimes contact randomly throws my stuff um, like a uh, like at a pitch too um, so I'll, I'll check for you James uh, but it's probably a glitch in your computer I mean I would I would be surprised if nucleus had um, had like a pitch issue uh, bug or something like that at this point and they've had the library out for a while now so you'd think they would fix something like that um nice yeah you like those libraries are, are great and a lot of people have those those strummed acoustic libraries because um they come with that like you know that contact complete or whatever a lot of people have that so that's what i was kind of banking on when i made it it's like i know that a lot of people kind of uh use that I do play guitar. I plan to write some tracks with live guitar, but the NI instruments are so good. Yeah, they're really good, man. They're definitely like the best 
for you know just like i don't know they're, they're just quick and easy and fun to use like the picta nylon um library is just such a is such a like a step up for them too it really sounds uh impressive Okay, um, what the heck was I gonna do? It's hard to concentrate when I'm when I'm also uh, chatting with you guys in the comments. <laughs> um, so let me switch gears here and try to uh, figure out what it was that I was gonna do. I totally forget now. Um, I was gonna do. Oh yeah, I remember. I was gonna do one thing. I was gonna add some sizzle symbol in here. And then we'll call it a day. Progression. Yeah, Shreddage makes good stuff too. You tried that Shreddage, uh, or is it? I don't know if it's Shreddage, but it's the same company that makes Shreddage. Um, they have a free li uh, guitar library. Actually, James was the one that brought that to my attention. Um, I haven't used that in a while. It's somewhere hiding in my on my hard drive. I can't dig it up right now, but it's, I, I remember thinking it wasn't that bad. gonna throw it down here it's too much sizzler I saw that they put that, uh, yes, uh, Albion 3 on sale. Um, the only Albion I have is Albion 1. And then, uh, is that it? Yeah. Now, I just bought the uh, a passing out of strings and, um, and the Abbey Road 2 strings. And um, I'm, hap I'm, happy with, uh, I'm happy with those. That's all the money I'm going to give Spitfire for the time being. Um, sizzle. Okay. I think I'm happy with this. Something sounds a little weird. Right there, maybe it's the... Need like a hit. How come this is so quiet? One last trailer hit, guys. I swear that's it. Um,
Okay. Let's have a nice little listen back. Not bad for an hour. Not bad. You know, not my, not the greatest work I've ever done or anything. Not bad for an hour. It needs a lot of cleaning up and kind of tweaking, I guess. Um, but that was fun. That was fun to write that. Uh, James, let's uh, let's figure out what uh, what's going on with your nucleus. Um, let me pull up what uh, what pad was it that you're uh, you're speaking about? Uh, hit me up in the comments. Um, I realized that I uh, I should have frozen these. It's getting glitchy during that playback. Really ruined the whole experience. Biggest lesson from for me from your visit is always how few tracks can sound so so huge. Yeah, sweet. Um. Yeah, a few of these are like multi patches, so it, like they sound a little bit thicker, and you know. Um, single patches but yeah i don't i don't work i don't i try to keep my the orchestral stuff kind of lean um but it's like a lot of it is because i just like i just i don't know i'm running up against all sorts of cpu issues i need a better computer then i could like load my big fat templates um but just to get the the you know the general ideas down i don't think you need a whole lot all of them so james all of them are, are sounding off for you so do you want like me to to play something um, from like, uh, so I don't know, like just pull up a, any old patch here and then we can, uh, we can test it against yours. Let me know. First one I j just opened in standalone and then try now and it still sounds wrong. Try playing a D sharp and test with the built-in tuner. It's real as D should be chromatic light version marks huh weird okay um let's pull up a strings patch okay d sharp coming up just the pads in the sound design folder oh uh i haven't even looked at that yet Uh, sound design folder pads uh, just regular old pads here okay um, let's see what happens I haven't tried these yet so this is kind of cool so much I just have not even tested out yet well it's taken a while to load this one Maybe there is a glitch. Oh, here we go. Uh, just to confirm.
Oh, I got two different notes there. That's interesting. Okay, so James, I'm seeing that um, that D sharp comes up as D flat on the uh, yeah two uh, on the C or uh, D sharp three here, I think. So yeah, weird. Good catch. That is weird, man, for sure. So you're not going crazy. Um, you are correct, sir, and you should write. Audio Imperia, an angry email. Um, that's weird, man. It's super strange. Um, kind of cool sounding pads, though. You'd think they would update stuff like that, you know? Yeah, get that money back. <laughs> I want a full refund. Okay, now that I froze these tracks, should we listen to it again? Maybe we'll... I feel like it's a little bit dark. Let's brighten this up a bit. It's more that I just want to hang out with you guys. I don't want to go just yet. Would it be rude if I ate the rest of my banana while we listen back to this track? Yo, Donald! Welcome, my man. I wrote it on a comment on their Nucleus 1.2.update video. Hmm. Yeah, good. There's no way you're the only one that caught that. Surely uh, someone else has noticed that. That's weird, man. What a strange little glitch. Yeah, no problem. Happy to help out. Okay, so um, I'm going to finish my breakfast here, my half banana. And... Uh, And we'll listen to this track one more time. And hopefully it shouldn't glitch out. And I feel like this trump is too loud, too. Enjoy. Do you crack me up, man? <laughs> I'm not going to exchange the plant for a bass trap. <laughs> the plant absorbs so much, so much sound. Oops. Oh, that was nice to listen to. Uh, that was a nice to listen to it without any glitches. The banana, I actually have a banana shaker. I should have pulled that out. Um, I actually have a collection of uh, vegetable and fruit shakers. Um Got avocado, got cream pepper. Um, what else got? A lemon. I, I would like, uh, yeah, I'd like to find a lime to complement the lemon. Hey, thanks for listening, guys. This has been really fun. 
Um, I'm not going to drag this on any longer. Uh, I'll I'll, tr- I'll timestamp that playback as the official playback for the video. And um, what else, man? Um, yeah, hit me up in. Uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas about what Eric and I should talk about tomorrow. We we film or we um yeah we film and record our podcasts on every Thursday morning here, and uh, we're always looking for new topics to explore. Um, we haven't. We usually figure them out like literally hours before we go um be, before we, re- we record so um yeah look forward to that and what do i have the rest of the day i got to work on uploading a few more tracks um and uh and finishing th- some things up and start the next course for the academy pretty soon and uh yeah working on trying to tie up loose ends with uh production music tools the website i've uh, i'm in contact with um with uh a graphic designer who's going to help me kind of rebrand it. And uh, I, a few, a, a whole handful of people reached out to me to help me um, with the MIDI packs after I kind of did a shout out on last podcast about needing some help there. Um, and more people than I thought would got back to me on that, which is really nice. Um, and more than I could handle really, because I don't, I have like a limited budget for that. So, um, but it was really, uh, it's really nice to kind of like, see that a lot of people are listening to the podcast, which is super cool. Um, good night, Andy. Thanks again for the, for the tip. That was super nice. The plant is actually Stevie's ghost. <laughs> yeah. It stays up all night composing new tracks. It's looking a little angry right now. I think it needs some water. Probably a bit more heat too. It's like cold in here. Um, Anyway, sending out uh, tons of love to all you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, That was really fun. And uh, I'll see you in the Academy. I will see you in the next YouTube video, uh, wherever that may be. And um, yeah, I'll sign off. Take care, guys. Peace. Have a good one, Thomas. Thanks for joining. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.